The commissioner of the Texas Education Agency told state lawmakers that the state's current education policies sometimes allow objectionable materials to be taught in the classroom. That's an issue lawmakers will likely try to address in the next legislative session. Fox Wars' Lori Brown joins us with that. Lori. Clarice, Commissioner Mike Morath explained to lawmakers that many of the state's education standards are broad and open to interpretation, and that can in some cases open the door to problems. Worth reflecting on, is it clear to you how a student would master that? TEA Commissioner Mike Morath explained to lawmakers that in many cases, school districts are putting the burden on teachers to find their own instructional materials without giving them extra time to do so. So if you're wondering what instructional material is making it into the classroom, um, it is anything that you can find on the internet. Morath gave an off-the-cuff hypothetical. You describe how individuals, events, ideas, and, and have changed communities past and present. That one standard, I could probably teach anything. Mm -hmm. um, because if I choose my, you know, uncle <laughs> and how he changed his neighborhood uh, by, I don't know, going out and being drunk. Um, I, that's, you know, arguably an explanation of that standard. With some conspiracy theories circulating about what's being taught in Texas schools, Democrat State Rep James Tallarico asked Marath a direct question. Are you aware of any curriculum in the state of Texas that one, bullies students based on their race, or two, groom students with pornography? Uh, I will say one of the jobs that you have given me is to investigate. Um, and um, I would tell you it's a very big state and the world's complex. Uh, so uh, the short answer to that question is, is yes. We've reviewed um, uh, in some cases ma uh, materials that were made available to students that would, um, I think the common citizen would agree would be inappropriate. Marath added that he cannot say it is a widespread problem. Marath said when it comes to selecting library content, many districts are putting a lot of faith in third party reviewers without reading the materials themselves. If you have materials where there is no um, effective oversight process uh, for that, uh, for the selection, um, a lot of weird things can occur um, in that process. In April, the TEA issued new guidance urging districts to give parents more input on content decisions but ultimately leaving final approval with school boards. Many districts already have long-standing policies on classroom and library content that involve parents and educators. However, the chair of the committee said he was bothered by what he called the lack of more specific curriculum standards. Suppose we let every school district decide how long the football field is. Mm -hmm. I mean, would that make sense? I don't think so. You have some unusual football games. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Um, and so I look at this idea about curriculum in the same light. Marath also explained that a common problem in underperforming schools is that they lack a viable curriculum. Exactly how to improve the state's education standards will likely be an issue that will be hotly debated in the next legislative session. Clarice.